Here we are at the deadline for the Savannah 48 hour film project drop off here at McDonough's Lounge. All the teams have worked with their 48 hours to complete, write, edit, direct, act, turn in, and put a soundtrack underneath these films. They dropped them off right now. We've had 15 teams on time, one late. This is the largest 48 hour film project in the history of Savannah. And we had this opportunity to pull some of these teams aside to ask them what this 48 hour film project meant to them. Exhausting. <laughs> the last 48 hours have been exhausting. I, the, the last 48 hours have been ridiculous. It has been uh, a whirlwind. Fun. Fun. You know. Satisfying. Stressful. It's crazy. Very tough. Gotten about eight hours of sleep here and there over the last probably two and a half days. Our category was uh, inspirational movie. Film noir. Horror genre. Time travel. Film de femme. Musical. Comedy. Film de femme. Time travel. Sci-fi. Comedy genre. Part of the 48 hour film festival I think is the challenge. The idea of can we pull this off? One of the things that's nice, we worked with a small crew. Uh, we intentionally did that. We pick up our genre, right? We do the drawing, and usually we just stop and get a bite to eat first. At six minutes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we sit a couple there beers, and... stop by, you know, a couple of stores to buy a couple of things, and um, we got shooting about 10 o'clock Saturday morning. We had like no problem pushing off. Like we all got together and started a Facebook chat, and we were on it. We definitely had a, a tough time getting started with our ideas, but eventually we we came up with something that we were really happy with, and we knew that uh, you know it would do women proud as well. As soon as we pulled our genre, we immediately went back and started writing out the script and we were filming that night we shot about 90 percent of the film friday night into saturday morning start writing on a laptop on the drive home yeah. which is about two and a half hours and we skype in other like other players and things like that pure chaos at first no one knew which direction we were going a little bit of drama running and in a million different places trying to write the script tossing it rewriting it tossing it again you're with people who have these very particular sets of skills and you're utilizing those to their fullest in a very short amount of time so you get an adrenaline rush running through this whole thing one of the highlights that i found was to see the growth in the actors and the production staff. That is time! Ever thought about being a part of the Savannah 48 Hour Film Project? Well, we got to talk to some of our team leaders, and they have a few tricks and tips that may help you survive this next year's 48 Hour Film Project. If you're planning on coming to the 48 Hour Film Festival to participate, Here's some things I would suggest. Number one, keep the crew and the cast relatively small. You're always moving, always on the go, and always passing. Everybody's always doing their job up until everything's finished. Coffee, lots of coffee. Just have a plan. Have an idea as to what you want to do. Jump in, just do it, and then that will force you to buy equipment and get people together. Keep it simple and uh, be in control. Make sure there's a lot of food so no one has to leave. Surround yourself with talented people. They will carry you far. Start with a crew, um, learn about the process, watch it numerous times, uh, be a part of it. I think it's just having that passion and really really committing and having awesome people around you, it'll really motivate you to do well. But yeah, like I said, the caffeine doesn't hurt either. Get a lot of sleep the day beforehand, if at all possible. I made the mistake of driving back from Atlanta and not getting a lot of sleep that day before. So get a lot of sleep. You gotta stay up and burn the midnight oil. No, you just have to plan. You have to make your logistics work. I work full time, we all work full time, and this has such a finite end to it. Like, you know, it's editing's never finished. You just run out of time, and this is about the most definite example you're ever gonna see of running out of time. It was a lot of fun, brother. This, this is what it's all about. I love 48 Hour. Well, that's the Savannah 48 Hour Film Project teams. They put their heart, their soul, their money, their sweat, their lack of sleep, and all of their Red Bull into making films this weekend. 48 hours, they wrote, they edited, they acted, and they turned in a film. It's amazing what they can do in such a short amount of time. It's great that this film community can come together and create something that they're really proud of. They can show off to their friends. This is what filmmaking is about for Savannah. Community, where we all can come together and have an amazing time, support each other, and have something that we can show off to our friends and family. So, next year, I wanna see you there. Get together your team, your friends, your family, and come out and have the most intense, sleepless, 
crazy weekend you can ever have. See you next year. Anthony, is there any way we can move this thing to the fall? No.